we all have that moment wherein we ask ourselves, do we need to take the risk? And for me, my answer for that is that you should. Back in the Philippines, it was very different. I actually graduated with a degree of international studies. Find out that it's not really my favorite thing, but I do know that I have always been creative. This is something that I've always wanted to do. When I was choosing for a program, because I knew that I wanted to go to Canada, so the next step was just choosing a school and the program. I know that I wanted something that's very hands-on. I wanted to learn based from what, not only from what I'm reading and what I'm listening to during lectures, but something that I can do during classes. And that is the advantage that media communication can give you. We always have this notion wherein, oh, you can't learn all these things. You have to focus on one thing. But in my heart, I know that I really want to explore these things because I know in my head that these are components or these are things that um, I can work with together as a whole. When you go into the program, I would say it's very normal to not know everything. One of the things I remember is that I was very scared of videography. That's the most scary subject for me as well as photography. I always get anxiety whenever I see a camera because I've never held a camera in the Philippines. This was my first time. But the fact that the professor take their time to know where you are whether you're um, a basic learner, an advanced learner, they always cater to your need. And right now, I, I can confidently say that I was able to learn all these things that I've never imagined that I can do before. The media industry is huge, and sometimes it can be intimidating. For me, I feel like I have an advantage point because I get to stand out in a way wherein I get to show them not only what they're asking from me, like for example, if they ask, I need someone who knows how to edit. I can do you better by editing. I can also do photography. I can also edit graphics for you. So for me, it made me feel like I can compete with people within the industry. The biggest advice that I can give you is that you just have to go for it and don't be scared to take the first step. Sometimes, not knowing something shouldn't stop you from doing these things. Kasi syempre, parang um, sa simula, may hirapan ka talaga, hindi mo alam yung gagawin mo, but meron ka nung mga suporta, nung mga professors na makakatulong sa'yo to get you to the level where you want to be. And for me, that's very, very important. And it really helps you in your overall experience again. To my first semester self, I know that you're very eager to impress everyone around you and to just um, do the best that you can in your projects. And sometimes hearing bad news or maybe feedbacks from your professor can hurt. And you have to understand that it's okay. Yung feedback na yon is something that will help you grow in the field, in your industry. Hindi siya feedback para ibabaha, but feedback siya para itaas ka. A word for me that describes my journey in the media communications program at Humber College is kahaiba. It really gives you a different feeling. Um, it's an extraordinary uh, experience that you will take forever, even when you're in the industry, even when you're trying to figure out who you are. It's always something that you will take with you wherever you go. Hi, I'm Kathy Bedini, Program Coordinator for Media Communications at Humber. I just want to give a shout out to our exceptional students, now graduates of the Media Communications Program, that not only starred in this video, but directed um, filmed and edited the entire piece. Uh, this is a great testament of the wonderful work that our students do. If at any time you have any questions, concerns, or just want to talk about the program in more detail, feel free to reach out to me, um, send me an email, and we can chat. Thanks for watching.